Hi guys, it's Stacy. I'm back with another project. This is a journal that I did for um, a great friend, Kim, and this is an original Cat from Outer Space, the Disney um, VHS case. Here is the K or the the cassette tape. So this um, this movie means something to her and me too. So um, I made a journal using using this as the cover. And I had this fabric has the planets and it's a glow in the dark fabric. So it's super cool when it's at night on the shelf, it would look really cool. And I added this little piece from the bottom of the VHS tape. I made it a little charm with this antique brass Saturn. And it's removable. It's just got a little hook and it can be taken out. So this is, I uh, believe it's, what was the date of this? It's the original copy. It's, of course I don't have my glasses on. I think it is 1976 or 1977. 77 I think, because it was 76 that it came out in the theaters, one or the other. Okay, so I'll do a quick flip through because I need to get this off to her. So I made a little book, book card here with, um, the date that she's receiving it or that I finished it. And I've just added literally just lots of pockets and stuff because she's gonna add, this is a medicine card, a blank tarot card. She's um she's just gonna, oh, 1978, June 9th, 1978 is when this movie came out. And I've just added lots of pockets because she's really just gonna be adding her own stuff in here. And oops, these are little, cards from an original copy of the IQ 2000 game. I will show you more of that through here. But yeah, they're, they had all kinds of questions and I picked through them all and picked out things that had anything to do with um, Star Trek. Um, let's see what else does she like. Incredible Hulk and that kind of stuff. So, so I just used a collection of different digitals and scrapbook paper. This one here has, oh, this one is Wayne Gretzky because she's an Edmonton Oilers fan. This is Aquarius because she's Aquarius. And I've just added a little planet washi tape and stuff there. So I'll leave in the description box below all of the different digitals I've used. Um, there's quite an array of them. So so yeah, these this was an orig my original game from the 80s and you you answered questions and collected the planet. So I have quite a few of these I'll be putting in some future journals coming. And this is just a little notepad with her Aquarius on there of scrap paper. And I've just added like original book page ephemera. So this one's about Aquarius. Some planet planetary books that I have. And this was also, I just backed the last two pieces of the VHS tape and put it in there. I could probably make a bookmark with it. And these are just some retro, this, I wanted it to just look kind of retro. So I've just used like, I didn't do any, like a whole lot of sewing or anything. I've used vintage pages. I wanted that look with the coffee dyed paper, the lightly stained, that it looked more of that retro look. So I've added more Aquarian paper and uh, the Hermit, the jumbo tarot card there. Just some things that I know that means things to her. She will add, um, she probably won't write a lot in it. She'll just add more things. Uh, this is one of, Uranus is her planet. And there's another tuck spot. Oh, there's lots of rooms to tuck things. This is Aquarius. And I've added some photos in there. They're personal. And then here is a guest check. This one is the Cat's Eye Nebula, because it's the cat from outer space. And here is a You're Out of This World greeting card. So there's lots of, this is um, a digital, this retro grid here. So I have, uh, I went through with all my little stamp collection, my space stamps and added stuff like that. This one is Venus. I've shown in a different video, these are the uh, NASA collection postcards. You can get them at Amazon. And then there's these little robots, just little 
cards. Here is the Zodiac wheel. I did this on a card I did for Liz, I believe. So I love these images, the uh, sort of retro images here. Makes for great backgrounds for her to add pictures and stuff like that. Here's the Eagles. She's an Eagles fan, what well, we are. I love this space paper. Um, I believe I picked this up at Joanne's. Um, she's also a writer, so I put this little typewriter card, and she likes to write um, horror. So here is one of her favorite movies of all time, Friday the 13th. This is a, one of the original. I could not find the original VHS cover. If anybody has one and would like to give it up, I'd be forever <laughs> obliged, appreciated. Um, so anyway, I just printed that off the internet and just used my stamps. Here's some original book pages. Vellum. I put this together quite a while ago. Here's more of those um, different things here, those little cards with the questions and answers that you had something to do with her. There's more in there and I've just used some more of my little space stamps. I imagine between her and her daughter, they will fight over it. There's Mars. This was a scrapbook paper and it was a sky. Sky uh, line here, a night sky. Here is the star to the equivalent of Aquarius. There's more, what's this one? Uh, yep, yeah, this one has James Kirk, so it has a Star Trek reference to it. More stamping. There is a little bit of ledger. Here's the Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. You guys all know that. And we are huge Silence of the Lambs fan. So there is Buffalo Bill in his finest. And I did manage to find one of the answers to it is Buffalo Bill, which I, th which I thought was pretty cool. more retro images here's the skyline this one is uranus as well so there's the cat from outer space again a little secret pocket there so just lots of room to stick stuff down i didn't there's a little cat in a rocket more book page there's a pocket with some more of those game pieces in it. Those are um, astronomy books that I had. I've pulled out pages. There's Jupiter. There is some more photos that she would like. Glenn Fry. Love this paper here. Washi tape. Just some more little fun things clipped in there. I love how this uh, image, this is part of the uh, scrapbook uh, paper image uh, of the digital shop I'll mention in here, but I did print this one on vellum. I thought it looked really cool. It's a blueprint. Printing it on vellum I thought looked really neat. Little rock, or spaceships, UFOs. There's that skyline. So yeah, and here's some more planet washi tape that I had, drifting in the universe. Just a fun journal for her to add all her, you know, memories and stuff to. So, and there's the back. So I had a lot of fun with this one, and it's actually a kind of a so it's cardboard, um, you know, a few of it together. So it feels like a hardcover, but it's kind of like it's still soft and movable and squishy. But. Okay, guys, I want to get this off to her. So thanks again for watching, and I will be back with more in the very near future. Take care, guys.